I'm kind of glad on this movie that I got to direct it and I didn't have to play a hobbit because, you know, those guys had, had a fairly arduous time of it. They had to get up at the uh, at some unearthly hour. How, how lucky are we to be in New Zealand to see this? That's half of why this movie is so amazing. This kind of stuff, every day. <laughs> My day would start within the five o'clock hour, uh, every day, for the most part. It's sometimes 4.30, that was lovely. The Hobbits would always start early because we had the prosthetics in the morning. Uh, our makeup took mostly about two hours. Glue was painted to the bottom of your feet. Then you would slide into these prosthetic feet. They would then hair dry uh, glue around the seams of your feet and paint them with airbrushes and paintbrushes. Standing up at five in the morning and the whole time we're begging to sit down, but they don't let us. <laughs> they, they couldn't sit and have their feet glued on because the way that their ankles would sort of be bent in the wrong position. So they had to literally just stand up when I'm sure they'd rather be in bed. We have to be really honest and say that when the days that we don't have feet, we're really excited. Because <laughs> A, that means we have a later call, and B, we don't have to stand up for an hour and a half. I don't think my wife knows as much about my feet as Sean Foote. Isn't that ironic that Sean's last name is Foot? F O O T E. Sean Foot. O E? No E. No E. No I e. want to put an E on there because it's just too <laughs> weird that your last name is Foot and that you work on my foot. My foots. No E. So the the prosthetics would be put on, and that would be an interesting time in the morning. It was always kind of um, it was our it was our time to be with each other. We went through phases as well. There were there was the kind of reading phase where we'd all be reading and we wouldn't talk. And other times we'd be really into music and the, the, the CD would be blaring and everything would be up, you know, just different kind of moods that everybody went through. Every morning I bring a book about this big. I pick about three CDs to listen to because I'm here for so bloody long. And then we'd go on to the makeup chair, get our wig and our ears put on. So the, uh, the Hobbit ears actually encompass the entire ear and kind of fit on like, um, well, like a glove. Um, like an earmuff. Like an earmuff, but completely contoured for the ear. The thing that's weird about the ears is, in terms of acting, is uh, they're foam, latex, and so they actually absorb sound. And when other characters, when other actors are, are performing, and sometimes it's hard to, hard to hear them. And then, you know, maybe we'd get our, uh, our rewrites, because often, Literally every day, the, the script was being rewritten. So anything that we'd learned the previous night made no sense because we would have revised script pages. I would say probably 90% of the, of the time we arrived on set. Not because we were in trouble in any sense, but it was really to get as close to Tolkien as possible. And I think we were always trying to incorporate more of Tolkien into the movie. I actually have a whole miniaturized script so that if I want to see like where we've come from or where we're going to and we have other notes and stuff but it's really neat just to be able to have something to walk around in and when Peter's talking about stuff and and you can kind of I don't know it's just a useful tool if there was time we'd nip and get some breakfast sometimes there wouldn't be time there'd be a rush on so we'd we get breakfast wrong to you I'd normally have porridge in fact I don't think there was porridge on set until I kind of asked for it and then there was always a big thing of porridge. So I think I kept everyone healthy on set because of that. Day has now begun. I'm, I'm now tr completely transformed into a hobbit. All that I have left is to put on my wardrobe. So I've got my feet, got my wig, got my ears, got my dirt, I'm ready to go. I think I'll go in, in my trailer now, listen to a little music, relax, and get ready for the scene. If you ever actually made it to set, that's the thing about making movies is it is such a cliche, but it's so true. Everybody rushes because you have to be there in front of the camera when it's ready to go. But if something goes wrong, you know, a light goes or, or you need to reset something, then it could be another five hours. Yeah, as we were filming the movie, there was a making of that was always going on. So there was normally a camera on set. And, you know, if we were ever really bored, been hanging around to do a shot for a while. We try to do a little skit. <laughs> the phone rang last night, and there was someone on the other, on the other, uh, the other end. <laughs> it is that thing where uh, you get so used to each other's company and so um, 
comfortable with each other that some of the things that you're getting up to to keep yourself entertained just start to become a little bit uh, off center. So this uh, this Elijah guy, you know this Elijah Wood guy? Yeah. Oh, have you spoken to him? Yeah, a couple of times. I was speaking to him today and he's just been a real idiot. Hey, guys. Hey, he's up for it. Hey, hey. How are you? Sit down, man. How are you? Hey, good, good. Party seems cool. Elijah Wood. Hey, I've got a present for you. Down, I've got a present for you. A present? Yeah. What for? Oh, just for Yeah. Nothing. Yeah? Just something I picked up. Oh, you deserve one, man. Oh, that's cool. You guys were. I'm going to go and get it up. All right. See ya. <laughs> he is a fing. Next time you can. I'm going to punch him right in the <laughs> I already did that to him the other day, man. Yeah? Oh, yeah. He is. Yeah, exactly. and, and he was. And he fing cried as well. He's like, hey, mate. Hey. 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 What's going on? Cut an apple. <laughs> hey. Hey, Woo! you guys. I've never met friends like you before on a set. Ah, uh, shut up. Well, honestly, I mean it. Nah, I, I, I would agree with that as well. You know about my apple? Never been so close to no. two people in my life. Yeah. You know about my apple? Who is that? Be an extra. No, I don't. He's, some, he's jabbering all the time. I sat down, talking to you, trying to run my lines. Right. Jabba, jabba, jabba. Yeah, I'm constantly like, trying to interrupt. And I'm busy with it. Hey! hey I'm fine. What's going on? Billy Boy! Hey! How are you? Hey! All right. <laughs> Billy Boy! So we need to get back up in a minute or two, I think. Oh, are we going back yeah, up? Yeah, I think so. I can't wait to do this stream with you. Yeah. Well, they're funny. You're just so good. No, I think that's right. us. All right, come on. I remember once, me and Dom were, were doing this thing. Just bored, you know, we're out in location. And he says, how fast do you think you could touch every table in this <laughs> canteen? It's just me and him. I was like, I reckon I could do it faster than you anyway. The game that Billy played more than anything was to watch me run around and touch the tables and then to forget to have started this stopwatch and just watch me get more tired, you know. And the time is going longer and longer and uh, just laughing and giggling to himself. And then I go to do it. And as I'm running around, my foot comes off, you know, and flies off. I just... I'm not going hell wetter that my foot's come off. And just at that, they say, OK, you're needed on set. And I've got this foot, you know, it's going to take like half an hour to put on. You just feel like an idiot. Of course, the biggest crime I could commit as a director was to, to have their feet glued on, but then because of the angles I was shooting that day to somehow not see the feet. Sean Aston in particular kept a running tally, and, and, and by the time he was finished a, a 274-day shoot, he could tell me exactly how many days he'd had his feet glued on and they weren't photographed. 50 separate days, we got to 50, that we had the feet applied when they weren't actually even seen on camera. In terms of the actual work itself, Peter would wait until we were all sort of present and he'd sort of talk us through things. And then we'll, um, then it's down and then Billy says, oh look, look uh, Mary, it's, it's Frodo. Hobbits are, are small, they're, they're, they tend to be about four feet tall. Uh, three foot six is kind of the average height of a hobbit. Obviously, we're not that size, so there was an interesting logistical issue with making us that size. And it wasn't one trick. There were a variety of things that we did to accomplish that, that final goal of the size difference between the hobbits and the rest of the characters. We had scale doubles, for one, and we, as the hobbits, had to direct them, which is interesting. So come up, run, and then just sort of, you know, and plant, maybe plant your front foot out there and just sort of settle yourself down with, with that as, as a bit of a, you know. The, the little tiny details that made up a, kind of a simple performance for us, we had to kind of work them out with the scale doubles. And that was required of us pretty much every day. Brilliant. Thank you, Karen. The most complicated things were... Uh, probably false perspective, whereby if I were to be doing a scene with Ian McKellen, he would be in the foreground of the shot so that he would just look bigger, you know, because he'd be closer to the lens, and I would be back from the shot, but it, we would make out that we were level with each other. Amazingly simple in the sense that it is literally just one person in the foreground, one person in the yeah, background. Elijah will be, we'll look at the eyes. Elijah will be roughly, roughly down, down here. He's not directly opposite you. He's a bit lower, a bit further down the table. Uh, but also logistically for us as actors, that posed the problem of Ilan. From the hand of uh, Saren himself. No, don't look at me. Saren himself. 
because we couldn't look at each other during the two shots, which is a weird thing because you rely so much on the other actor's eyes when you're acting. It's important to have that connection, and we didn't have that connection for those kind of shots. And then there was also blue screen. Here we go, and action. And that was incredibly complicated, and I was really nervous because I was like, ah, this feels really weird. I'm, I'm walking on, you know, a blue mat, and there's blue around me, and there's no reference at all uh, to remind me of the place that I'm supposed to be. Does that look all right? Yeah, you, you, can, you can use a little bit of whip. Um, there's a scene with Gandalf and Frodo in Bag End when Frodo gets up from the table and says, you know, we'll hide the ring and we can, no one will ever find it. And suddenly I had to kind of remember my marks, hit a mark at a, a specific place at a specific time so that it matched the timing of the shot that they got with Ian. No one knows it's here, do they? Do they, Gandalf? Probably the most frustrating thing for me was um, working on my knees. This is probably, I mean, the configuration with, with Billy and Dom is not quite right because Frodo had a clear access through. Just the freedom of movement that you have from having your legs, you know, positioned on the ground is, is a lot freer than having your knees because there's a sense of overbalancing or underbalancing, falling one way or the other. <laughs> and so you've got all these kind of different technical and, and logistic and cinematic tricks going on in your head, but at a certain point, you have to just kind of squeeze that out of your mind and remember what the story is and remember what your character is and, and, um, and have a profound emotional interaction with your imagination on camera. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> We'd wrap generally at about 8 o'clock. Birthday boys are going to Alcove tonight, so if anyone wants to join where's, us. Where's that? What town is that? It's in Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. The drinks are on the line, yeah! yeah. yeah. There goes my idea! Yeah. Yeah. For the year. <laughs> so I hope to see people there. That would be lovely. Uh, we had to take off our costume, then go into makeup and have our ears taken off and our wigs, which took about 40 minutes and then have our feet taken off, which took close to about an hour, you know, in kind of soapy water with people hacking away at your feet with brushes and metal sticks and pipe cleaners and toothpicks and all that kind of stuff. Once the feet were off, if it was a Friday, we might have a beer as well, which is nice. You sit there with a beer, somebody rubbing your feet. Come on, does it get any better? I don't think so. That's a typical day in the life of a Harbour on Lord of the Rings.